Hello all, I wanted to share with you this uh, video about the Samsung Galaxy Book Pro 360. It's a great laptop with a lot of nice features and I'm really enjoying mine. I wanted to focus on the fact that you can have not just one, but two M.2 NVMe drives in here. Now, it's easy to do this. Just turn the laptop over and remove the rubber feet. They pop right off. Remove them off all four corners. Under the feet are screws, just unscrew them. Now you want to start at a hinge corner and use a flat tool to carefully pry up the corner just enough to get a flat piece of plastic under it, like a guitar pick, which I'm using here. And then just go all the way around the edges and carefully pry up the bottom. You'll hear it click as you work it free. Now inside this laptop, unfortunately, you can't change the RAM in these, but you can upgrade the internal storage. And this is the M.2 that comes installed. I got the one terabyte model and over from it magically is an open M.2 slot. We just need to unscrew the black screw at the end of it. Now I got a crucial one terabyte NVMe drive on sale for $70 during Prime Day, but you know, you can use any NVMe drive. Just make sure it's not a SATA M.2, because keep in mind, those are different types of M.2 drives. Slot the drive in the right way and put the screw back in that holds it in. So now this is a two terabyte laptop. I've got my original drive and it too can be upgraded by the way and a new one terabyte drive. So down the line, who knows, you could put as much storage as you can get M.2 capacity in this thing. Now, of course, put the lid back on, push it back into place carefully. You'll hear there's nice satisfying clicks and pay particular attention around the rear grill that everything is popping into place right. And of course, put the screws back in and pop the rubber feet back on. Now you're good to go. Okay, let's turn this baby on. And really all you need to do in Windows is type computer management in the search bar. I think I went from administrative tools to computer management and then disk management. And the new M.2 drive should just pop up ready to initialize with either GPT or MBR partition tables. And this is a 2021 device, so I see absolutely no reason not to stick with GPT, which is newer. Mine shows up as disk one with the factory drive being disk zero. So make sure you've got the right device, of course, and then click initialize. You should see the drive space available and you can partition and format it however you choose. I'm sticking with just one large simple volume and using the whole drive. I usually name it something like the drive size and do a quick format. And that's it. There's my newly installed one terabyte M.2 in this laptop and the original one terabyte drive that came with it. I've also got a 128 gigabyte micro SD card in here as a slot you can use for that as well. You could probably dual boot this laptop. I have run Kubuntu on it from a virtual machine and everything worked fine, but I haven't tried it natively. I mean, even the touchscreen worked and uh, the S Pen, but that could just be because it had the tools from VirtualBox. I have no idea. I haven't actually tried to run it natively. So if you have a Samsung Galaxy Book Pro 360 and you want to add some more storage to it or upgrade what's in there, you can easily do it. That's it. Take care.